Okay students, in this video we will study achromatic combination of lenses. So basically first we will see what is achromatic. So we have in previous video we have already studied what is abrasion and its type and in this in type of abrasion there is a one abrasion is called chromatic abrasion. So in that video we have already <coughs> studied that what is chromatic abrasion and how we can minimize chromatic abrasion. So the pro procedure of minimizing chromatic abrasion is called achromatic achromatism it's called actually. So here is the achromatic combination of lenses. So a lens system which neutralizes the dispersion or prismatic effect and free from and free from chromatic abrasion that is this is the condition fr minus fb that is focal length for red light and minus focal length for violet color spectrum is equal to zero so this is the basic condition and this is called achromatic combination of lenses it means we have to use lens such that total chromatic achrom, uh, chromatic abrasion should be neutralized so what are the conditions so we have already studied in previous video we, we have seen that uh, main condition is to keep lens in contact or separated by a distance d <coughs> okay so this is the condition for achromatic combination of two thin lenses number one lens in contact if we will we will keep we keep two lenses in contact then uh, chromatic abrasion can be minimized other procedure is two thin lenses separated by distance D or you can keep two lenses at a particular distance from each other. So in this video we will derive an expression for lenses in contact if we will keep two lenses in contact uh, to minimize uh, chromatic abrasion so uh, that we are going to study in this video and uh, next video I will make for this uh, point number two, two thin lenses separated by distance D. Now, lenses in contact. So, when two thin lenses are kept in contact, the combined focal length is given by 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon f1 plus 1 upon f2. This is very uh, famous formula for <coughs> combination of lenses, and this is equation number one. In Himalaya publication book, it is uh, uh, here minus sign is there uh, in, in, instead of plus. So please note that while if you are referring that book, so it should be plus sign here. Okay, where f1 and f2 are focal length of two lenses kept in contact. Now we have to differentiate equation number one. So when you will differentiate, you will get minus df by f square. We know that differentiation of one upon x is nothing but minus one upon x square. So by using that formula, minus d df by f square. Don't uh, get uh, confused in this uh, differentiation it's very easy differentiation is equal to minus df1 df1 by f1 square minus df2 by f2 square so df upon f square is equal to df1 upon f1 square plus df2 by f2 square because all minus sign here here get cancelled we'll go to the next page it's a very small derivation therefore df upon f square is equal to omega 1 f1 upon f1 square plus omega 2 f2 upon f2 square now where from where this omega 1 and f1 came or omega f concept came basically omega is the dispersive power of lens and f1 is the focal length so when we will write df look at this point df so df means difference in focal length for different color we are studying uh, chromatic abrasion and how, how to minimize that so we will talk in terms of color so here is omega <coughs> sorry omega 1 f1 so fr minus fv that is focal length for red light minus focal length for violet is equal to omega f1 that is what df is equal to omega f simply you have to remember this okay so df upon f square is equal to because f1 f1 get cancel here f2 f2 get cancel you will get df upon f2 f square is equal to omega 1 f1 plus omega 2 f2 now if combination is achromatic 
then 1 upon f should be the same for violet and red this is the basic condition because uh, red we, we already know that in white light there are seven components violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red so they have different uh, different uh, type of deviation different level of deviation when they are passing through the prism so here even in in case of lenses lens we have like small prism which is called prismatic effect so for that if we have to remove that uh, uh, you can say chromatic aberration because of which clear image is not formed so this condition must be satisfied tf upon f square that, that is this one let me remove all this thing this one must be satisfied so here so df upon f square is equal to 0 so we can write omega 1 upon f1 plus omega 2 upon f2 there is nothing but this one is equal to 0 therefore omega 1 upon omega 2 is equal to minus f1 by f2 or f1 by f2 is equal to minus omega 1 upon omega 2 this is the basic condition this is the required derivation which we wanted to derive so from this equation we can say that the ratio of focal length of two lenses must be numerically equal to the ratio of their dispersive power mean to minimize chromatic aberration what you have to do you have to select such a lens such a combination of lens where two lens must be numerically, numerically equal to ratio of their dispersive power and here negative sign is there don't forget so since omega and omega 2 are positive quantities since omega is the dispersive power, dispersive power so it cannot be negative so f1 to, to satisfy this negativity to the negative sign mathematically f1 and f2 should have opposite sign it means one lens have uh, positive focal length and one lens must have negative focal length so in case of convex lens convex lens always have positive focal length and concave lens always have negative focal length so if we are keeping two lenses in contact so one must be positive one must be concave and one must be convex to minimize chromatic aberration this is the main condition that is one lens is of convex another lens has to be concave so this is all about derivation i hope i have explained each and everything very clearly if you have any doubt because you can ask me later thank you so much student